Now, ballots still being counted in the tight Pennsylvania Senate race between Republican Dave McCormick and Democrat Bob Casey. Yeah, the latest count shows McCormick ahead by more than 34,000 votes with about 111,000 ballots still to be processed. KDKA political editor John Delano explains what's taking so long. Dave McCormick was in Washington, D.C. today for Senate orientation, smilingly holding a name card declaring him senator-elect. Glad that, uh, that I've been invited to the orientation and uh, excited to get to work for bringing about the change that the, the people of our great Commonwealth of Pennsylvania have, have demanded. But incumbent Bob Casey posted a video saying he's still waiting for all the votes to be counted. Our county election officials will finish counting those votes just like they do in every election. The American democratic process was born in Pennsylvania, and that process will play out. While most of the same day and standard mail-in ballots have been counted, it takes time to certify that provisional ballots are legitimate, officials say. That process began last Friday, and each ballot must be inspected individually to determine whether the person casting the vote is both qualified and hasn't already voted. All this takes time. And, and this is normal, John. Like every single election for decades, provisional ballots have been following this exact same process. There's nothing new with that. Former Secretary of State Kathy Buchbar, once the state's top election official, says unless there are court challenges, this process should be wrapped up in a few days. Allegheny County Elections Director David Boy says about one third of the county's 12,000 provisional ballots were counted on Friday and Saturday. He says generally over 70% of provisional ballots get counted, while the rest are found defective. And then there are the military and overseas ballots for which today is the deadline. So in Pennsylvania, we value the votes of our military and overseas voters. So we say as long as the ballots are postmarked or sent by the day before election day, they can be received up to today. Today is also the day for county election officials to report their preliminary vote results. If Casey is within one half of 1% of McCormick, as he is right now, there is an automatic recount unless Casey waives that. Bukvar says counting in a recount must use different methods and machines than the first recount, usually with faster scanners, but... Those results are not actually due for another two weeks. While it is mathematically possible for Casey to win, he needs at least two-thirds of the remaining uncounted ballots and maybe more to overcome McCormick's lead. John Delano, KDKA TV News.